Welcome back. I'm Jeff Burr with the Tattooed Spirit. We're on talking about the Queen of Cups. That queen is that water element. The cups, obviously, is the water element. With this beautiful Queen of Cups and the beautiful and unique cup that she's holding, we have and we find ourselves in this abundance of this water. It's a double water sign. It's a double water card full of feelings, fully concentrated on that thing that is the emotion in your life. What a wonderful suggestion. What a wonderful act of support to tell you to get in touch with what you're feeling because that is affecting everything in your life. Another way to look at this, we're going to pull out the chart in just a second. Because this is a double water sign, this is a card of fully focusing on the water aspect of feeling in your life. This is a good pause for you in your day, in your week, make a ritual out of it, just to put an intention to find out what you're feeling and focus on it if it's good. And if it's not, adjust your thinking so that you get more focused on better feeling thoughts. So again, back to the queen. Full focus on this water element, a double water that are affecting the thinking by feeling fully, right? You can kind of see that up there. Feeling fully affects your thinking. Feeling fully affects your doing. That's why that cross is over right there. And it makes sense. We've talked about this before. Not only basic law of attraction, but it's also logic. What you do is going to change if you feel great about it. It's just logic. Okay, that's what this card really represents, is feeling fully and the dedication that comes from that act of being passively feeling, right? It's the dedication that comes from the act of being that passive and just feeling, all right? It's not a dichotomy, it's a divine dichotomy how you can affect your life actively by being passive and feeling fully with a double water with this particular queen. A lot of creativity in this card. You'll notice that this is a very unique cup that she's holding. That's because so much is embodied in her feelings in her cup that it has to be that unique, that special, that beautiful. And all of her focus is directly on it with satisfaction. And judging by our little chart, you can see how she's changing her whole life by being fully, fully dedicated. All right. Reversed. You can imagine the love dripping right out of that cup. And the actions that follow, just like if you drain all the water out of this, it's going to change all your actions to things that don't serve you and don't serve others. When you put no attention on this water, you drain all the water out whenever it becomes reversed, it's gonna affect your thinking. Your thinking's gonna go down the crap tubes too. All right, so think dedication whenever you think this. Just drawing your cards in the morning, you get this card, get focused. Get focused on one particular thing and find out how you're feeling about it and then make sure you focus on that until it affects your thoughts and it affects your actions. And before I talk any more in any more circles, we're gonna let this queen go and prepare you for the king of cups and the inherent contradiction in what fire and water have in common. All right, I'll talk to you later.